Changing gears to the forecast here at home. We're hoping that the sun will come back a little bit today. Well, you guys have the bright yellow on, so I, I, I <laughs> get the part. idea. You're sending me a message here. I understand what you want, and I think you're probably ready for some sunshine as well. We've got it back in the forecast. 517, glad you're with us on this Friday. We are uh, here to give you weather and traffic together every seven minutes out there right now. Again, a little bit of fog in a few neighborhoods. Not unexpected, considering we've had all that rain yesterday. A mild visibility, West Jefferson, Ash County, Gastonia, over to Salisbury, down toward Chesterfield, a little bit of fog here and there. Rainfall, yeah, we picked up a little more than a half inch yesterday. So for the month now, it's actually August. Don't look at that. It's a mistake, right? But August, uh, 55, 100. So we've got a little bit of a surplus for the year, though. This is impressive. We've had nearly 30 inches. We have a surplus of almost four inches of rain. Very, very impressive. Now we're done with the rain. It's moving out of our eastern counties. Still a couple of lingering spotty showers. Chesterfield over into Richmond and maybe one or two in the mountains. You might have a little bit of mist in your neighborhood with the low cloudiness that we had this morning, but this is going to give way as drier air comes in. And as it does, it will promote more sunshine. 70 in Huntersville, 72 Concord, Kannapolis, Reedy Creek, 71. We're 70 Palatine, Tika K, York, over to Rock Hill and Weddington. Everybody right around 70. So we'll stew around there this morning. Normal high. 90. We're not going to get quite there, but we'll make a run up into the middle 80s. And again, cloud cover will be fairly extensive here during the morning hours and will thin during the afternoon, allowing for some sunshine. Rain chances actually pretty low, no more than about a 20% chance today. And I think Saturday and Sunday, pretty low rain chances, though late Sunday into Monday, another frontal system will head in our direction. So for this afternoon, one or two showers up across the mountains. Couldn't rule one out here in the Piedmont, but overall, the trend is lower. Tomorrow we start dry. You got an early tea time, a yard sale, ball game, you're in good shape. Saturday afternoon, yeah, not much chance for rain. Sunday, we start dry, we might end with a couple of thunder showers here. Late Sunday evening coming out of the mountains, they may make a run towards the Piedmont. Download our free WBTV weather app. That way, if you're out and about at the park, out on the lake, the golf course, you've got that interactive radar right there at your fingertips. I'm here to tell you, though, the mugginess is going to be up for a while. We're getting back into a more tropical range. 80s today, 90s over the weekend, small, small chances for Thunderstorms best chance would come as I mentioned late on Sunday. Otherwise, yeah, we're looking at lower 90s both days of the weekend and while cooler weather will be had up across the upper Midwest, hotter weather to the south. We're sort of in betwixt and between, which is about where we should be for this time of the year near normal temperatures, which again is right around 90 degrees for a high and an overnight low close to 70. Sun up this morning, 635. Sunsets now at 824. Days getting a little bit shorter, but they're still long. Stray storm this afternoon, 86. 92, 92, 92. Next front comes in Monday. That's probably going to be an active day with showers and storms. Good news is Beyonce in town Wednesday right now looks pretty good. Upper 80s during the day, low rain chances. We'll keep you monitored on that.